Compressible flow, tutorial number 6. What is Mach number? Discuss its importance. Determine the velocity and Mach number of bullet fired in a standard air if the Mach angle is 30 degree. Take R equal to 187 Joule per kilogram Kelvin, K equal 1.4 and temperature equal 15 degrees Celsius. And number C, a preliminary design of a wind tunnel to produce Mach number 3.0 at the exit is desired. The mass flow rate is 1 kg per second for P0 equal 90 kPa absolute and temperature 15 degrees Celsius. Determine the throat area, the outlet area, the velocity, pressure, temperature and density at outlet. For Mach number, we could say it is the ratio of velocity of fluid in an undisturbed stream to the speed of sound mathematically called Mach number. So the equation will become M for Mach number is equal V, velocity of our object, and C, the speed of sound. The Mach number given as an important information about the type of flow in general the flow of a fluid is divided into the following four types. If the subsonic, the Mach number is less than 1. Subsonic flow, the Mach number is just equal to 1. Supersonic flow, if Mach number is between six, 1 to 6 Mach number. And hypersonic flow, if the Mach number is greater than 6. For question B, we could calculate the speed of sound by using this equation C equal KRT we substitute the value of K 1.4 R 287 and T is temperature in Kelvin so we have 15 degrees Celsius add with 273 to get the value of the value of temperature in Kelvin so the speed of sound is around 340.2 meter per second by using this equation, sine alpha equals C over V, so we could uh, calculate the value of velocity here as 680.4 meter per second. Then we could calculate the Mach number by using this equation, Mach number equals V over C. We substitute the value, we could get that the Mach number is equal to 2. So to answer question C, we list down all the parameters. We get that the M is equal, the Mach number is equal 3.0 at exit. The mass flow rate is 1 kilogram per second. The P0 here, P0 means pressure at, at stagnation condition. It is 90 kilopascal absolute. And T0, the temperature at stagnation is 24 degrees Celsius. Please bear in mind that in a stagnation condition, the Mach number is equal to zero, but the pressure and temperature will have certain values. Number one, what is the throat area A star? So we could calculate the A star by using this equation. So it is not, uh, this is a new equation, so I hope you could remember this equation for your further calculation. A star is the area at the throat. We learn about asterisk here as the critical. So A star means the uh, critical area, means the area at throat. Can be calculated by the idea of mass flow rate at maximum value times third R T naught over 0 0.686 P naught. So 0 0.686 is actually a constant. We substitute all the value, we get that A throat is 0 0.00474 meter square. To calculate outlet area A, we can use table to get values. So we know that A is the area of any point at the convergent-divergent nozzle, and A star here is the area for the asterisk for the throat. We learned about the mark, the asterisk mark here in our previous lesson. So, 
we know that in our condition, the Mach number is 3. So we look to isentropic flow table for air. We find that if Mach number is 3, the A over A star is 4.2346. So we could write down A over A star is 4.2346. To get an A, we multiply 4.2346 with 0 0.00474. The value of A star uh, is already calculated in previous calculation. So we could get that the outlet area A is 0 0.020072 meter square. So this is the calculation for velocity, pressure, temperature, and density at outlet. So again, we use the table here to solve the problem. So if mark number 3, we could say that P over P naught is equal 0 0.0272. Rho over Rho naught is equal 0 0.0762 as I stated here. And T over T naught is 0 0.3571. And then we could calculate the value of Rho naught means that density at stagnation point by using this ideal gas law. P0 over RT0, we substitute the value of uh, pressure, this is the gas constant and this is temperature in uh, Kelvin. We could say that the rho naught here is equal 1.0523 kilogram per meter cube. So this is the answer for the density at outlet. So for density at inlet, we could say that uh, from this equation, pressure is 0 0.0272 times 90, so we get 2.448 kilopascal absolute. So we have temperature here, 0 0.3571, multiple with this uh, Kelvin value, and then we get 106.4 Kelvin or minus 166.6 degrees Celsius. Density, 0 0.0762 times uh, 1.05 to 3, 0. Point, so we get 0. 0.0802 kilogram per meter cube. And velocity, so we could calculate from the mass flow rate. We know that mass flow rate is equal to rho AV. So we could uh, get the velocity uh, by using mass flow rate over rho and A. So we calculate this one, so we get it is around 625 meter per second.